to the quadratic equation where the coefficient of x squared is more than 1. Okay, let's see how this is done. Now, many of you must have known the cross method. But that takes time, number one. Number two is you got to redo everything, multiply, and then find out whether the answer is right or wrong. But in this technique, the factors technique, you will know halfway whether you are right or wrong. Very clear. Watch. Now, think of two numbers. The product is 3 times 77. Okay? The product, when you multiply the two numbers, you get 3 times 77, 2, 3, 1. Okay? And the sum, the sum is negative 32. The same two numbers added up must give you negative 32. Okay? Just by looking at this, product positive, the sum negative, that means both the numbers are negative. Negative times negative, positive. Negative plus negative, you will get negative. Okay, what are the two numbers? Now, you see that this number is very big. But you don't have to worry. Watch. 3 times 77 is 231. Now you break this up so that you get two numbers which will give you this. Watch. 3 times 11 times 7. If you look very carefully, see this is equal to 231. Now what is 3 times 7? 21 times 11 is 231. See? So the two numbers are actually 21, 11. But, but, like I said, error, negative. Both numbers are negative. So, negative 21, negative 11. So watch. Negative 21 times negative 11 is 231. Negative 21 plus negative 11, negative 32. Okay, now you watch here. Negative 32 can be broken into these two. Negative 32x is broken up into negative 21x plus negative 11x gives you negative 32x. We break it up. Watch. What happens? 3x squared minus 21x minus 11x plus 77 equals to 0. Now, we have broken up the negative 32x into these two. That's all. That's all. And you can solve it now. Very simple. Take two terms at a time like this. Two terms. Now, here you take a common factor 3x. What have you got? x minus 7. Minus minus 11x77. What is the common factor? 11. Bracket. x negative times negative positive. Minus 7. Equals to 0. Now, if you look very carefully, you see that if it can be factorized, always you will get two fact, uh, 
brackets the same two factors the same what x minus 7 x minus 7 now when you reach this level and you don't get two brackets the same don't continue anymore because you will be wrong if you get these two the same you are correct you don't have to check anymore after this watch x minus 7 x minus 7 take out x minus 7 and then what have we got like left here 3x minus 11 minus 11 equal to 0 so therefore x equals to minus your answer is plus or x equals 2 here bring this number down 11 over 3 negative your answer is positive these are your answers as simple as that now practice this technique it looks like it takes some time but actually is very very fast when compared to the cross method this is a better method learn it master it you will be very good at quadratic equations thank you Hi. Let's see how we solve this example. 12x squared plus 13x plus 3 equals to 0. Okay, like I said, the better method is the factors method. Watch. Think of two numbers when multiplied together. You get 12 times 3, that is 36. Okay? When added together, you get plus 13. Positive 13. Okay? So, what are the two numbers? When multiplied together, you get 36. 12 times 3, 36. When added together, you get 13. Okay? What are the possibilities of getting the product 36? 1 times 36 is 36. 2 times 18 is 36. 3 times 12 is 36. 4 times 9 is 36. So these are all the combinations. But which combination gives you, when you add together, you get 13, right? This combination. 4 times 9. Both numbers are positive, so it's very simple. 4 times 9, 36. 4 plus 9, 13. So this 13x can be broken up into 13x broken up into 4x plus 9x. So you see, we break this up. We just break this up and we are on the way to get the correct answer. 12x squared plus 4x plus 9x plus 3 equals to 0. See? The main thing here is breaking this up. These two we don't disturb. Okay, now we factorize this pair and this pair. Okay? So what is the common factor here? The common factor here is 4x. What have we got here? 3x plus 1. Plus what is the common factor here? 3. What do we get? 3x 
plus 1 equals to 0. Okay, watch carefully. Like I said always, if it can be factorized, guaranteed 100%, you will get two brackets the same. The same. Without fail. If you don't get these two brackets the same, don't continue. Because you will be wrong. If you get the two same, you are 100% correct. Watch. We take out the common factor. 3x plus 1. Okay? What is left? 4x plus 3. Equal to 0. From here, this is equal to 0 or this is equal to 0. So, what do you do? Here you bring the 3 down. Here you bring the 4 down. Therefore, x is equal to if this is positive plus, you put here minus 1 over 3. Or x is equal to plus minus 3 over 4. This are your answers for x. I hope you get it. You are getting it, I think. Don't worry. There are more examples. Thank you.